Hi Media Mail Gang, it's Katie with Katie Reads. Izzy and I are headed to an auction. Um, I have never been to an auction before. It is magazines and old movie posters and uh, sci-fi books. Um, I've done some research on eBay and to be 100% honest, I'm nervous about this auction because I feel like the lots are gonna go for way more than what they're selling on eBay, which is the reason that I almost decided not to go. But I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what it's about. I I want to get into auctions a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna see what it's about. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe there won't be a whole lot of people there on a Sunday morning for books and movie posters. I don't know. Anyways, I found this auction at estatesales.net and it was not an estate sale. It was an auction. And I'm glad I did a lot more research because otherwise I would have shown up thinking that I was walking into an estate sale when I was really walking to an auction and I know they're two different things. Um, we'll see. Yeah, we're on our way to the auction right now. I'll try and record if I can. I'm not sure if there's a no recording policy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know this place. I've never been here before. It's not very far from my house. So we'll check it out. So guys, we are here. Uh, the parking lot is packed, but um, there are a couple other people showing up late um the auction started at 10 it's 1002 so we are walking in right now and we'll see what's going on So that was the wrong auction. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where ours is. Um, Izzy can't believe that guy was talking so fast. She's she's still stuck on that. I'm stuck on where's the stuff that I'm here for. Uh, so I'm either totally at the wrong auction place. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, I found it. Here we are. We're finally in the right building. <laughs> you record the guy talking, okay? In the crowd. Okay? Oh, we'll go look over at the Next, we got eight sixty-five Ford Fiesta. Next, we got eight sixty-six Winchester Model Thirty Seven Ford Ten. These ones, I am. That, is, that one is at 11. Thank you. 
<laughs> yeah, I can't buy that stuff. You could easily be here for hours and hours because this is just one hour that starts at 11. And these are ones that I am going to bid on. I am going to bid on some of the books. I mean, depending how high they go. Thank you. 
one of four and four. other books went. I know the vintage books are going to be expensive, so I'm moving on. Hey, Media Mail gang, it's Katie. So wrapping up from the auction, I just wanted to give a quick breakdown of what I did end up buying and the potential profit for that. I didn't end up buying books. This is the whole point of the auction of going there. Um, to be 100% honest, just like reflecting on it, I think for me it was just really intimidating. It went really, really, really fast. And before I knew it, um, you know, things were at 125 plus. I mean, you saw some of the footage. It just went really, really fast for me. And I was really not trying to spend more than $50 per book lot just because of the type of profit I like to make. Um, and in looking at some of the books up close, a lot of them were probably acceptable good condition at best um, other ones were amazing condition so um and then as far as comic books i just don't know enough to be throwing money out there like that for comic books but eventually i will learn um this super auction place is about 25 minutes away from me and i liked their facebook page so i will be able to keep track of certain auctions that they have going forward. It's a two building auction building. So that was really interesting. The estate sale that I saw on estatesales.net was one hour of the total big auction. Um, so that post got me to the auction house, which helped me learn more about the actual auction house people um, that were doing their own thing. And then this one guy was doing his own separate auction as well. So it was really interesting. There was a couple um, Michigan, like professional, you know, top Michigan auctioneers at some of the auctions too. That was kind of cool. Um, he was doing all the war mem memorabilia that you saw and a lot of like the um, swastika flags and things like that that you saw. So that was kind of interesting to see him uh, run those auctions. I didn't get a whole lot of footage of that but the little clips that I did get, I threw into the video. So to wrap up, I paid $20 for a little mini box of like toys. And here we have, I believe this is Hulk Hogan, <laughs> um, plush, and it's in great condition. There's no staining, there's no issues with it at all. Um, there's something inside, so I think he talks too, maybe. But uh, comps for him are around thirty to forty dollars, so that's awesome. I'm I've already doubled my money for what I paid. This low magnetics chess set is uh, I'll throw the comps up. I believe it was selling anywhere from like eleven to twenty dollars. Just kind of depends on condition and if you had all the pieces. I do have all the pieces. My condition is a little rough on like the outside box, but everything else inside is in really good shape. And then this vintage Radio Shack Draw Poker Savings Bank. Um, this is actually really cool to see. It's been such a long time since I've seen Radio Shack stuff pretty much, but this is uh, selling for around 15 to 20, I believe. I have a couple flags here. Um, this one is a parental advisory. This is more like a scarf or like a, 
like a curtain thing that you would hang up on the wall maybe um so i'm gonna list this on facebook marketplace see if i can get like five bucks local sale and then here is an actual flag that you could like hang up outside or you know on a pole or something like that and this is it's like just the traditional pirate um, skull and red eyes so I'm going to list that on Facebook marketplace as well see if I can get five or ten bucks and then inside here are some made in Italy binoculars they're really cheap they're plastic um, I couldn't find a brand even on them so I'm just gonna give them to Izzy because I know she'll really like them and she'll think it's fun so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one Thank you.